and I'll show you real quickly one of those six experiences. Cecil Talas, shown here as a perfumer, uh, perfume from Berlin, and she worked with Christina Agapakis, then a microbiologist at Harvard. Cecil shows up and she said, I'm, you know, as a perfumer, I'm actually very excited about the smells of cheese. What are you excited about in the world of microbiology? Well, at the time, and of our time still, what's very exciting in microbiology is what's called the human microbiome, the fact that there are so many microbes on us and inside us, and they are part of us. Well, okay, let's talk about cheese. Cheese has microbes in it, and there's a great cheese shop next to Harvard called Formaggio's with their own aging cave and whatnot. So they went there in the first week of their residency, and they pulled core samples of the stinkiest cheeses and brought that back into the laboratory in test tubes. And they started streaking out the cheese samples to see what microbes grew and to do determinative bacteriology on all these cheese microbes. But because they're in a microbiology lab, and the microbiology lab is excited about the human microbiome, pretty quickly they have this conversation to Christina and Cecil. And the conversation goes like, hmm, some of these cheeses are small batch artisanal cheeses. They're made by human beings who have hands and who work manually with the material. And on their hands is skin, and on the skin is microbes, and there's microbes in the cheese. And what is the relationship? between the cheese microbiome and the human microbiome. Now, if you didn't have this tinkering culture, right, you'd probably take a scientific approach of sequence everything and then use the computers to line up the patterns and you declare what the relationship is. But tinkerers are going to do things a little bit differently. They're going to say, well, we don't know, so let's tinker. Let's go around the Harvard campus and collect samples from our colleague's skin of microbes. Let's go to the farm and get raw goat milk. Let's inoculate 48 bottles with samples and then grow some cheese. <laughs> this all happens This all happens within weeks. So I was passing through Boston when they brought out the tray of the 48 different cheeses and we had not thought about safety, so we didn't eat the cheese, but we... <laughs> We smelled them. And I can remember still to this day that Daisy's armpit cheese is beautiful. It is a <laughs> citrus floral bouquet. That is quite stunning. Um, <laughs> philosopher Toad Cheese, you need to invent a new adjective to describe, <laughs> to describe how wrong it is. Um, well, what does this have to do with people and, and what we might wish for? My mom said growing up to finish my green vegetables, you know, treat my body as a temple. I am what I eat. This project reversed that for me. It said, we eat what we are. <laughs> I was having dinner that night with a banker from Fidelity, um, and I thought I'd ruin his appetite by relating the story. And he had, perhaps with hindsight, predictably, uh, just the opposite. He said, billion-dollar market. <laughs> Celebrity cheese. 